I know some people are gonna think I am high as hell for wearing a sweatshirt to go to the airport, but I don't know about you guys, I'm freezing in airports and on airplanes. It is just so freaking cold. Um, so that's why I'm wearing a sweatshirt. I actually bought an airplane blanket. I think I was in, I don't remember where I was coming from. I bought it recently this year and it was in an airport. It was in one of those boutique stores in the airport. Oh my gosh, it was one of the best things I've ever purchased. I don't think I put it back in my travel bag. I get cold. Drinking a little Kim K, Alani for this trip. I can confirm what this trip is. I am going to Salt Lake City, Utah. My mom is meeting me there and I'm doing a photo shoot tomorrow for a Wally phone case collab. Wally is the case that I have been obsessed with for the last year. It's about a year now that I've been obsessed with it. And I designed a couple cases with them that are coming out very, very soon. That's what we're headed to do. So let's go. Let's go catch a flight. Okay. Uh, we have Chavani. Yeah. have to make sure like four Filled up my water. Buffalo wing crisps. And protein shake. So we'll, 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 we'll that part. All right, landed in Salt Lake. I am just chilling on this big thingy here in baggage claim. I'm waiting for my mom. I'm absolutely starving out of my mind. I don't, I haven't really had a great meal. You guys saw what I had earlier and then I got, I was at this little market thing and they had this really croissant looking incredible donut. So I had to grab that in case we don't get any sweets tonight. I'm gonna try and get a crumble, either delivered, or we're gonna try and go get it. Some grapes. Ah, the turkey stick I found, I wanted to show you guys these. I found these turkey sticks, and I had the spicy one, it was in like a purple case, I'm trying to talk to people in the background. It's Nick sticks, turkey sticks, 10 grams of protein, 75 calories. This was delicious in the spicy version. A little heads up if you're in the Salt Lake City airport a driver picking us up. Thank you so much, Wally. Waiting for my mama, she's pulling in. And we're gonna get to the hotel. It's 8.56 here right now. So for me, that is 10.56 Eastern time zone. The time zones over here confuse me because I feel like there's, maybe in Utah, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like in Utah it's split throughout the year. Maybe I'm wrong, I could be totally wrong, but I get confused when I come over here sometimes, time zone wise. It's kind of me like, why are you talking to a camera? Anyways, gonna get to the hotel late tonight and then wake up in the morning, gonna do a little bit of work and kind of get to explore a little bit. We're actually downtown at the AC Hotel, which is I guess downtown Salt Lake. Probably explore, get coffee, maybe do breakfast or something, and then having the photo shoot tomorrow evening, do behind the scenes, and hopefully I can show you guys the cases. Hopefully they let me do that. They did tell me today that I could say, hey, I have a phone case coming out. Which I haven't said it on Instagram yet, but hopefully I can show you guys the phone cases. Hi! I just had you on here and I lost it. That's darn a it! That's cute shirt. <sighs> I got a potty. <laughs> okay. All right. We're gonna head to the airport or the hotel. It's late. All right, right there. Can you watch me? Good morning, Salt Lake. I zoom in a little bit. No, I can't. You can see the mountains back there. Really, really pretty. I bought this in a little market in the airport. Anything that's dense like that and layered, so delicious. Yum. up a little bit.
Happy Egg White Bites this morning. Serum. I'm going to throw on one of these little chin masks. I got them off Amazon. They have great reviews. I don't think that this is anything that's like, oh, it's going to get rid of your double chin. I like it for traveling inflammation. I typically use one every day. It just depends if it's morning or night, but because I'm doing photos tonight, traveling, haven't drank a bunch of water, had some crumble cookie last night, a chicken sandwich. We're just going to throw it on. I like to pull it out. I leave mine on for like 30-ish minutes. And I'm going to pull it just a little bit because it'll get tight. And I just put it right underneath. And while I'm looking at outfits and stuff, keep it on. You're going to look silly. But my face swells up. And this is just going to help. Just a yellow. Just a yellow. Pull it forward. It should look like that really great reviews on Amazon. I really like them. The brand is Stalia. Cute. I'm do some lotion because my skin is like the Sahara freaking desert right now. So dry. Chuggy and water. So dehydrated from being in the airport. I'm sorry, I'm I do a little makeup routine with you guys. I'll show you what I've been doing recently this makeup bag is amazon it's so great it's like under 20 dollars i love it <clears throat> we're gonna start out this foundation is like my favorite right now it's so so good i'm gonna start out with my primer i really really like this cali ray blown away one i love this oyster primer i like to let my primer sit for two to three minutes if i can Got my dibs I'm trying to look glowy. I gotta pick my outfit out. I haven't done that yet. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry if I sniffle. I was editing my last YouTube video and I'm like, oh my god, you're sniffling so much, but it's like, I don't know, my allergies. Unbothered Bronze is my favorite from Dips. This little makeup organizer case thing. I keep all my brushes in there. Also, Amazon, really, really great. All right, this is the Lancome Idol Ultra Wear. I love it. I'm gonna do shade 355N. I also just bought the 400 one when I have a little bit more of a tan. Let's start with this guy. It just has a really pretty coverage. It's super, super pretty. Concealer I'm going to use is the Tarte Shape Tape. See a little under my eyes. And a few little breakout spots. We want good coverage for photos. Another thing I like to do is let my concealer sit for a second, especially if it's a zip or something, I'll let that sit the longest and I'll come to that and blend that out last. Setting powder is my Tatcha. I love this stuff so much. It works so well. I just dumped half of it out. Bronzer. This is my Dibs Dual Brush. Highly recommend this. It's great for travel too because you can use both sides. I'm using the NARS Laguna. It is a very loved powder. Currently, this is my favorite blush on the entire planet next to the Tarte ones. This is the Benefit Terra. It's so pretty. This color looks super, super good. Express brow, like soft brown or something. My under eye combo, I'm gonna do the Tarte Quick Stick in the shade Golden Bronze Luster. I just line under my bottom lash line right here. And then I'm going to use the primer for Lancome, Lancome primer, and then the Tarte mascara. It's my favorite. And I'm going to take my Dibs little thing here. I'm actually going to use this. This is the Unbothered Bronze color, the best one. I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to top up here for some glow. And then I'll use this one to do like my shoulders and stuff, but I'll do it once I pick an outfit. And I'm going to finish the whole thing with this one size on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray. I'm going to spray roll down. It's almost like hairspray on your face, it feels like. I need a full size. I'm doing these really tight waves curls. I'll show you how I do it, but it kind of mimics what my waver does, only it's just a different kind of curl. It's not as tight, I guess, as a deep wave. So 
So I'm gonna start, I take pretty decently small sections like this, I just go pretty quick. You're gonna take it and I go away and towards my face. And I go around for a second, pull out, unravel, ravel back up, unravel again. You're kind of trying to get that tight strand and just continuously going up and pulling out. Always use heat protectant. Back up, you can kind of see how it's looking like a, kind of like a dreadlock. I just keep going. Kind of making it look like a braid and I'll bring it back up the iron, back down and then I pull straight down. So your piece is gonna look like that and you just wanna make sure that you let it cool all the way. I'll let my hair sit for a good second before I brush them out. And I'll show you guys the end of what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. And the curls last for a really long time too. I'm gonna go towards my face this time. It's crazy, they're like little dreadlocks. End product looks a little crazy, but I promise when I brush it all out, it'll be really, really pretty, but I'm gonna let it cool for just a little bit. I'm gonna put back on, I got these press on nails and I accidentally put them on backwards. The only ones that I put on right were the thumb and my pointer, but I just took that one off because I was gonna redo it. I will show you, but I actually have them on my toes. I don't normally show my toes in this scenario, but these are press on. There's literally, I think 10 or 11 colors. They were super easy to put on and they were like $8 at Ulta. So if you're in a need of a quick fix, these are doing it for me. This is what my nails look like right now. And this is what the little press-ons are. The brand is Impress. I just got the white ones. So the thumb looks pretty good, but with nursing and stuff, depending on if I'm in the OR and everything, I don't, I don't get my nails done very often. And I work on Friday, and I, after my last shift last week, things were just crazy, 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 and I just, I wanna be able to take these off. Those are the thumbs, they look really, really good. This is what they look like. They just literally come with a little sticker on them. Just make sure that you put them on, the tab goes down on your cuticle, like so. I'm gonna put them on, I'll show y'all the finished product what they look like pretty good for a little sticker I'm short on time and I can peel them off if needed which is so nice I'll link them for y'all they have lots of colors and sizes this is the short length my natural nail is actually kind of long right now but this is the short one I can't imagine what long looks like let's brush these out I've let them cool I fixed my nails I'm just gonna take my fingers and gently run through. I didn't spray any product on it yet, I will. We're gonna do Pebble Beach spray and a little hairspray because I'm a little nervous. But that's the way that you're gonna get. Use a brush if you want to, I just try to avoid it. Especially if you have like an event or something, I don't like to use a brush the very first day. And it's just a really pretty beachy vibe. Not super tight, but also not super loose. I'm gonna take my Pebble Beach spray. I just have my navy little travel one. And I like to spray a decent amount away so it doesn't, you know, give it too much. I forgot my volumizing hairspray. That's okay. I know there's mixed opinions about this, but I really like it. It's really affordable. You can literally get it at any drugstore. It's the Batiste volumizing one it's in this really pretty striped can i'm going to take this and go at my roots just to give it a little volume we're going to let that sit before i rub that in i did wash my hair two days ago but it just helps give a little bit of a lift especially if you're like me you were born with stick straight hair let that sit i'm going to try and pick out an outfit i'm going to show you guys outfits that i'm thinking I have this dress. I just need to steam it a little bit. It's very, very cute. Very fall, boho-y vibe. And then another outfit option. I have this little mini skirt. I love these mini skirts. They're very, very easy to style with a graphic tee, tie it up a little bit, and then do some fun shoes. This tee, this skirt, these fun shoes. I got these in Charleston. They're, I think, Freebird. They're so fun. I haven't had a chance to wear them yet, but I was thinking that might be fun. Try it on. Is the skirt. 
Throw these with it. See the shoes? They're very fun. They come in other colors too. Outfit number two. Really pretty maxi dress. This is from a shop online called Shop Impressions. I like a lot of their stuff. They have really good dresses. And I'm gonna do the same shoes with it. Doing like a barn setting and a downtown setting in Park City. I think this is where we go. Have a mint in, so I apologize. This is the final little starter look. I'm gonna wear both outfits with the shoes. Those shoes are actually on sale. Uh, hopefully when I get this vlog up, they'll still be on sale, but they were like 30% off. And then if you sign up for an account, you get an additional 20% off. Really, really cute. And I love them. They come in a couple different colors. Very, very cute shoes, fun. We're gonna go shoot, a couple hour shoot, get some dinner here in Salt Lake, and then get up and head back home tomorrow. Let's do it. shot at it. it's like a big big old barn and then if I flip you this is the view how freaking crazy and pretty so crazy good morning good morning 8 47 try to get a little caught up on sleep kind of did kind of didn't I'm going to make the bed feed the dogs and I gotta get ready for a really quick appointment I have a functional medicine appointment today Basically getting all of the blood work back for my results. I'll talk more about that because I haven't talked about that on YouTube of kind of what that whole situation is and about. And I'm really excited. Hopefully I can find out some info today. Let's make the bed. breakfast okay let's go let's go and that little rabbit I give the dogs two different kinds of food Collins gets Royal Canine and Kaiser gets Science Diet cuz him on diet Good you and I just started giving Collins these dog as human vitamins because she licks a lot. I think she has allergies. Kaiser wasn't really like that. And I also give them fish oils. Paw. No. Paw. Thank you. Paw. Thank you. today got some new k-pods let's try these these are the spring day blend we're gonna use the ninja today and she has water bless day. There's nothing like a hot, fresh cup of coffee in your own house. Well, I like the spring day blend. You know what one's my favorite? The holiday blend from Starbucks. I love that one. We have some catching up to do and some packages here 
Amazon Prime, and some Rogue stuff. I might unbox that stuff today. We'll see how long this vlog gets. I might split it. Are those for you? Hee <laughs> oh, ain't you? Got a tailgate wagon like an airplane. Sit. Good girl. You can do a tea. Them healthy tea. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Heading off to my appointment. Just a tinge bit late. Oh. We're on our way. The humidity. Humidity just never really fades here. All right, I'm heading off to my functional medicine appointment. I'm gonna try and talk to you guys um, as I am heading there. I gotta think about where this is. We do know where it's at. So I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna chug my coffee before I go in there and I'll report back. Well, that was something. I have an entire huge packet, just papers and papers of lab levels, which is so great. I love information and hello. Wait for Skippy to leave. I love data. So it's really, really great things that back up information and what they're saying and stuff. I'm switching up my vitamins a little bit, adding in some things. <laughs> It's really interesting, you know, it's really, really interesting. If you've never seen a functional medicine doctor, I highly recommend it. If you're having any sort of health concern or, you know, things that your primary doctor may not be looking into, they don't always look, like I said, they don't always look into labs and everything. They don't go further all the time. Not everyone, there's some amazing primaries out there, but not every single one has the time, I feel like, to go a little bit deeper and dig more at a root problem, which I feel like is more of a functional medicine side. And I'm really glad I found her. I am really excited to see some changes, hopefully over time. I know that it takes time. Nothing is a really quick fix, especially when you do things this route, which is, you know, more of a natural approach. But the hope, the hope here is we can level out some things that he hopefully eventually could level out my anxiety, stress, just things going on in my body. My stress level is very, very high. You can see that in all of my lab work. I we were both hopeful that hopefully if we can level out some things going on that maybe eventually we can try coming off of the 37.5 again. We'll see. I have high hopes. I am actually going to run really quick to Walmart or Publix. Probably Publix because Walmart doesn't have my cottage cheese. Walmart has everything else I need though besides living, besides the good culture cottage cheese that I love. That's like the only reason I won't go to Walmart sometimes when I need to get stuff is because I'll do grocery pickup or something, but they don't have good culture and that's the best one. Gonna go grab some groceries and probably edit this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to continue to vlog, hopefully. Stay on my game. I love you guys so much. I will keep you updated on my functional medicine journey. I have to work tomorrow. Make sure you're subscribed so you never miss another video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.